Fabrication CAD MEP improves job site productivity by exporting points to quickly and accurately locate hanger attachments and wall and slab sleeves. The points can be used by robotic total stations to precisely locate installation points on the job site. The point data file can be modified by some RTS units and imported back into Fabrication CAD MEP to indicate which points have been staked. The imported data can also show which staked points were relocated in the field to avoid obstacles. For this lesson, you'll do the following. View and modify installation points. Export installation points. View the point data. Update the model with modified point data. Export the point data to Excel. Exercise 1. Exporting point data. Open points.dwg from the exercise folder. Right click CAD MEP output points or type TRIME in the command line. You're prompted to select objects. Type all in the command line and confirm the selection set. Press enter and the point sort dialog appears. The 3D viewer pane in the upper portion of the dialog shows the selected objects with their associated attachment or installation points. The same AutoCAD zoom and pan mouse controls are functional within the 3D viewer pane. The 3D viewer toolbar is on the left side of the pane. Hover the cursor over each icon to display a tooltip about that command. Show items toggles the visibility of items on or off leaving only the attachment or installation points visible. Zoom to Fit will perform a Zoom All. Below the 3D Viewer pane is a list of the attachment points with associated data for each. Compute Order will determine the most efficient installation order and movement path on the job site. Click on the Zoom to Fit button. Change the points description for all these installation points by selecting the first line item in the lower pane, then type Control A to select all lines. Right click and a shortcut menu appears. Pick Edit Description. Enter Office Hangers and click OK. All installation point descriptions are changed. A confirmation dialog appears with the total number of descriptions that were changed. Click OK to clear this dialog. Note that while the point descriptions for all lines has changed to office hangers, the item descriptions have not changed. The installation points are listed in order, but the order can be changed to meet your needs. Fabrication CAD MEP enables you to pick the starting point for installation and the software will determine the most efficient movement path for locating the points in the field. Click Compute Order and pick the desired starting point in the 3D Viewer pane. For this exercise, pick the top right corner of the top right duct in the model. An installation path will be displayed in the 3D viewer pane, and the attachment points in the list pane will reorder as well. Click OK and the Save Export File As window prompts for a file name and location. Fabrication CAD MEP saves the data in one of four formats. Choose the PNEZD format. The PNEZD format is a standard text file format that can be read by almost any manufacturer's RTS unit. It can also be imported into a spreadsheet application for editing. The PNEZD format contains basic point description and location information. The columns are point name, northing, easting, elevation, and point description. The MEP and TFL formats support specific Trimble devices. These formats contain additional information not in the PNEZD format. Check with Trimble as to which format to use. The MEP version 2.10 and TFL file formats include additional data not in MEP version 1.0 files. These attributes include description, tag, service, section, Notes, and Handle. Browse to the Exercise folder. Enter Office underscore Hangers as the file name and select Save. 
Repeat the previous steps to save the same points to a Trimble format file. To do this, enter TRIME in the command line and select All Items in the model. Select OK in the Point Sort dialog. Browse to the Exercise folder. Name the file Office underscore Hangers and save the file in the default file format. This is the Trimble MEP Layout Version 2.10 format. When saving to a Trimble format, the completed dialog appears displaying the number of unique points written to the file. There is no such confirmation dialog when saving to the PNEZD format. Click OK to return to the drawing. The exported point data files are ready for use with the RTS in the field. Exercise 2 Viewing Point Data Fabrication CAD MEP can view point data in non graphical list format. Right click, select CAD MEP Load Points, or type TRIMV in the command line. The Select Layout File dialog appears. Open the office underscore hangers.mep file from the exercise folder. This is the point data file created in the previous exercise. The point file viewer dialog appears. The installation points are listed in a non-graphical view pane. The office underscore hangers.mep file produced by CAD MEP in the previous exercise has a point data column named staked. The values for all installation points were set to no as none had been staked yet. When the points are staked by the RTS in the field, these values are changed to Yes, indicating that they have been located in the field. Click Cancel to exit the window. You'll now open a modified .mep file that simulates modified point data from an RTS unit. It will have some of the staked values changed to Yes. Repeat the TRIMV command. The Select Layout File dialog appears. Open the office underscore hangers underscore staked dot MEP file from the exercise folder. Some of the points in this file have their staked values set to yes. This simulates how an RTS would use these point files and modify the staked value. Below the list view pane are several options. Mark staked points on layout will insert a check mark block at each installation point in the drawing to indicate that the point has been staked. Mark original will show the original point location. For example, the original placement of the hanger may have to be moved in the field to avoid interfering with equipment. The new hanger installation point will be marked as staked. If mark original is enabled, a block will be added to the CAD MEP model showing the original placement. Set status of staked points enables you to change the item property status. Append enables you to attach an updated points file to the original or modified points file. This can occur when new items are added to the model after the points file has gone out to the field. The new hanger points can be exported to a separate file. Append can combine the two points files. Exercise 3 – Updating the model with modified point data Enable the Mark Staked Points on Layout option. This will cause CAD MEP to insert a symbol indicating that this point has been staked. Also enable the Set Status of Staked Points. The drop-down menu below activates. From the drop-down menu, select 7 Staked. This will change the hanger item properties from 0 Design to 7 Staked. Click OK. The model is updated with the new information. Zoom in on a hanger and notice the checkmark symbol indicating that this hanger installation point has been staked in the field. Highlight the hanger, right-click, and select CAD MEP Properties. Note that the status has been changed to 7 Staked. Exercise 4 – Exporting Point Data to Excel Point data files exported through the PNEZD format are comma-delimited text files that can be imported into a spreadsheet application. 
but point files in the Trimble formats cannot be imported into other applications. The Point File Viewer enables exporting the point data to another application such as Microsoft Excel. The data can be further edited and imported into CAD MEP. For example, it's often easier to change installation point descriptions in Excel. This exercise requires Microsoft Excel, but Windows Notepad can also be used to understand the process. Using the trim v command, open the same office underscore hanger underscore staked dot mep file from the exercise folder. The point viewer appears. Select a point and select all points with Control plus A. Right click to bring up the shortcut menu. Select copy. The installation point data has been copied to the Windows clipboard. Select cancel to close the point file viewer. Open Microsoft Excel. In a new worksheet, select an empty cell. Right click and paste the point installation data from the Windows clipboard into Excel. Header information, such as column names, is not copied. Only item number, point name, point description, tag, and service are copied. 